Hello and welcome to another Rightly Witterings. Welcome to a cup of good Assam tea. Cheers. Right, and now on with the reds. Yet another selection of diamine and one or two other reds. This is a colour that's going to interest me. Ruby. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh, wow. So quite up in the sort of almost purplish but definitely pinkish tints, I would say. So now for a drop of deep magenta. Wow. <laughs> what did that for? Very strong colour. Very attractive, although I don't know it's the sort of colour I would ever use myself. Red Dragon next, name of a very good book. Ooh, that's a nice one too. Wow, that is a lovely colour. That red dragon, I think, is very appealing. A strong, dark oxblood type colour. And yes, that's another one I think I'm going to be using a lot. That is a gorgeous, deep reddish brown. Very attractive, very appealing. Here's a colour I've been using for quite some time. Oxblood. This is definitely one of those colours that needs a good fat nib and a fairly strong flow of ink. And now, just for my daughter director, Amber. Wow. That's just really such a light colour that when you're writing it's hard to see it. It's only as it dries off it starts to get a little bit more obvious. And so that is quite an interesting array of reds. If I look back over the last few weeks Started out with Brilliant Red and Edelstein Star Ruby. Um, the Merlot is and the Damson are both more on the grey and purple side. Well, Merlot's more brown. I guess that's a really dark brown. Claret is definitely one of the purple, lavender type colours. I definitely like the Brilliant Red. Quite a pastel sort of colour. Definitely like the Edelstein Star Ruby, which is more pink, but... A very pleasant amount of shading. And then when we come on to the wild strawberry, which is gorgeous, that's strawberry and poppy are two I think that I'll be using instead of passion red, which is a bit more pink. Vermilion has fantastic outlining on it and has really good shading too. So that that's a lovely one. The scarlet I find too pink, much though I quite like it. It's just a little bit too pink for me. The Hiroshizuku is excellent for shading, really nice colour, but it's not the sort of colour I'd ever use, which is a bit of a shame, so I'll have to figure out what to do with that. And then we come on to the Diamine Crimson, Matador and Monaco Red. I like all of those three, really a huge amount. Amaranth, very dark purple colour, which is nice. Very good shading, but again, one of those colours I probably wouldn't use very often. And then finally, this week's lot, we have Diamine Ruby, which you can see the shading here in Merchant's really lovely colour. Magenta? Well, it's okay, but it's nothing to write home about. The two standout ones for me are, I love Oxblood. I've always liked it. But now, in comparison with Red Dragon, that's going to be the one I order my next big pot of ink in that colour I think because that that to me is very appealing I like the slightly lighter red colour compared to the oxblood it's just a little bit more red tinge in it so it looks a bit more like dried blood than oxblood does and amber is truly amazing I don't know if my daughter can zoom in a bit at that range because she's a bit close for it to focus but if you look at the 
upstroke on the D, for example, the outlining, and then on the I. It's quite astonishing. I think that that is a very appealing colour, and it looks really, really good on paper. And again, with that outlining, it does look as though someone's taken a photo and just sharpened all the edges. It almost doesn't look as though it's real. Amazing, isn't it? And it's amazing to see how diamine, with a little bit of additional pigment, a little bit of different tone, can get such variety out of their colours. Very impressive indeed. There you go. Hope that's interesting. If it is, don't forget to like, subscribe, um, hit the bell button if you want to be notified about other things coming. Have a look at my Patreon page because I've got a lot of blogs going there. And if you've got any comments or questions, please put them in the bottom. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Cheers. Take care.